Dad? Hey, there's my favorite daughter. Hi, oh. sweetheart. Watch it by myself, then. I know she's a serious journalist. Seems to me like she loves you. <laughs> so what's up, Joe? Good afternoon, Coach Fox. No. <laughs> Stuart, what are you doing in the athletic center dressed like that? He's rehearsing a scene from Two Gentlemen of Verona. He's playing Thurio. Huh. Who are you playing? Nobody. If I was in the play, I'd be in costume. Yeah, well, I thought... Oh, hell, never mind. What's up? We were wondering if you and Miss Armstrong would care to join Kelly and me in a simple repast at one of the local public houses come this Saturday's Eve. <laughs> what? Stuart got a part-time job today. He wants to take us all out to celebrate. Well, you couldn't have just said that, right, Stu? Dad, this is a really big deal to us. So what do you say? Is it a date? Oh, I couldn't help overhearing. You might not be home Saturday night. Okay, Lou, you can watch the TV Saturday. Hey, you just don't get corn nuts everywhere, huh? <laughs> Does he know me or what? <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you Saturday. Come on, we get a oh, okay. But, Kelly, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Please, I don't need to talk to you for a second. You don't mind waiting, do you, Stu? Not at all. Good. Serene, I fold my hands and wait. Nor care for wind, nor tide, nor sea. Uh -huh. I rave no more against time nor fate. For though my own shall come to me. Right, okay, she'll be out in two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Please do not make me have dinner with Stuart. The only reason you don't like Stuart is because he isn't some over-muscled macho jock. Oh, give me a break. You know that's only part of the reason. <laughs> Dad, look, whether you want to admit it or not, Stuart and I are extremely serious about each oh, other. Oh, God. Jeez. Look, this whole dinner was Stuart's idea. He knows you don't like him. He is trying very hard to win your approval. Well, he even got this job partly because he thought it would make you respect him more. I'd respect him a lot more if he did not walk around in pantyhose. That's an Elizabethan costume! Well, then Elizabeth should be wearing it! Oh. Oh. Dad, I don't want to argue about this. Stuart wants to buy you dinner. He wants you to like him. He feels like he's tried everything. This is the last straw. Now, if you don't come to this dinner and make an effort to reach out to him, You'll hurt his feelings beyond repair, and you will hurt mine. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> no. Then is dinner on? Will Stuart wear pants? <laughs> yes. All right, then we'll go. Great. But, Dad, this job means a lot to Stuart, so try and make him feel good about it, okay? Mm-hmm. What kind of job did Stuart get, anyway? He's going to be a clown at a children's birthday party. See you Saturday. <laughs>